Hello and welcome everybody, I am the Silly Horse CR and this is Chicken Police. I don't even know which episode, but uh, you can see it on the titles, I guess. <laughs> so, what can we do here? We can get him shoe, burn, car trunk. Not much else. Damn, it's not a good sign. Maybe she just lost it when she hurried into the house. Yeah, right. Yeah. Do you think it belongs to Natasha? No idea. Do you think I measured her feet when I was in her room? Probably. Not sure I want to know, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Should we take it? Hell no. I'll buy you one if you want. This is police business. Do you mean the real cops? Do you think? I'm almost <laughs> certain. My crest is tingling. Damn it. Well, thank God I have a weapon on me, or two. When do you not have one? Fair point. Stop staring at it. You're freaking me out. Okay, okay. I just like shoes. <laughs> Hurry, hell, Marty. I don't want to know. So, this is the word. What can I say? The message is loud and clear. Yep. Yeah, what matters is who is it for and what does it mean? I can't misunderstand that if I wanted to. We'll see. Wait a second, did that bimbo put a spell on you? As you used to say, don't let it cloud your objective judgment, boss bird. Watch who you're talking to, boy. <laughs> uh, these two. You wrote that down? It burned into my mind. <laughs> Chicken police, hands up. Marty, that's enough. Chicken police, hands up. Marty, that's enough. Uh, okay, it seems that I can't really do much else out here, but yeah, I mean, who would leave a shoe behind? This is not a Disney fairy tale. Plus, the door is open. Something is not right. Let's see. Marty, before we enter, did you bring Big Bertha? Of course. She's in the trunk. It's time to get Her Majesty out. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> so, did she get it? Oh. Let's go. Hello, my beauty. Just don't point it at me. Aw, scared? Take it easy. I swore I'm not gonna shoot you again. Very gallant of you, partner. Why, are you still pissed at me? I'm happy to remind you why you got shot the first time. I get it. Just shut the fuck up already. <laughs> Anything else? No, it doesn't seem... If I could do anything else... So let's just get this over with. It's the nothing. Uh, what was that? Eh, forget it. Just an old quote from a movie. It means it's fucking dark in here. <sighs> Flashlight. I didn't bring one. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> what a pair of fucking professionals. Exactly. Yep. But you do have a shotgun with you. We should have shotguns for this kind of deal. Is that from an old movie? No, it's an original. Figures. <laughs> oh my. No, I did not expect She was that. lying on the floor, as if she was sleeping. She looked peaceful, almost. The large pool of blood ruined the picture. Poor, delicate Deborah. Damn. Maybe you were too pure and innocent for this city. But in the end, its filth pulled you under. You know, no animal can swim in high heels. Wild gods! Fuck even! Yeah, it's her. Deborah. The girl who came to my office. I figured. But what the hell happened? Was it Natasha? Is this what you wanted us to see? No. I mean, I don't think so, Marty. She seemed very attached to the girl, and I believed her. Furthermore, she has no motive to kill her. Natasha meant some object. 
Something maybe the killer wanted, too. And the poor girl was trying to protect it. Did she seem that kind of girl? She risked a lot simply by coming to see me. She would have done it for her mistress. Why is she naked? Was it sexual? I mean, there's no sign of struggle. She seems untouched. Maybe she knew her assailant. Was it a lover? This looks premeditated. So far, the messages have appeared in weird places, but this... This is a new level. Oh, it's no longer case. just about empty threats. Well, maybe Natasha's on her way here right now. Or she was already here and something happened to her, too. Kidnapped, or worse. Those are possibilities, but we can't wait. We don't have time for guessing. Search the house. Search everything. The room's not trashed. Whoever did this wasn't looking for the same thing we are. Or they knew exactly where to find it. Yeah. Wait, what are we looking for exactly? I have no idea, but it's something important. Things like that have a way of getting noticed when you come across them. Amen to that. Desperately trying to find some things that I can do. I don't really want to mess with the body. Not just yet. Oh, that's so cute. Let me take a screenshot. It's an exceptionally beautiful piece. What does it depict, I wonder? I have no idea, Sonny. It's so art, I'm scared to have an opinion. <laughs> That's very well said. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it really is. Oh, I have to move back to check the family photo. Oh, that's even better. Oh, let's take another screenshot. This must be Natasha's family. <clears throat> yeah, wealthy. Do you think she's from the Stavonian Tsar's family? Oh, nobody could have survived that massacre. But I'm sure this family was also close to the fire. What is she doing here anyway? What, an alias? Keeping secrets, and now this case? Do you think it's all connected somehow? Let's not draw hasty conclusions, Marty. Which one is she? Maybe the little one? <laughs> anyway, they are... They look cute. Look at those clothes. Could it be a <coughs> military family? Maybe. Or Stavonian fashion. Your intuition always astounds me, Marty. What would I do without you? And there you go. Place. So what am I supposed to do here? Yeah, that's an empty fireplace. We should call the department. Anonymously, of course. Do you still remember the number? I haven't called my own workplace in years. Cretan. Of course I remember. Five 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 one one one. Is it? Since when? Since they invented the telephone. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, I knew that. I was just testing you. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, before I call, yeah. Uh, I don't want to double check the room. And yes, okay, okay. I know. I need to do something about the body. Please don't zoom in on her. Oh. oh let's get this over with. The message. Here too. Yes, but this isn't about Deborah and wasn't meant for her. It was meant for Natasha. Obviously. What have we gotten ourselves into, Sonny? I don't know, Marty, but let's get ourselves out of it as soon as possible. 
Anything interesting in there? Yeah, I think there is. There's nothing else useful in there. Oh, thank you. I really shouldn't be here, you know? It's New Year's Eve. I should be out partying, not dealing with this shit. Well, it's a little late for that. I told you it was gonna be a rough ride. What you told me was it's gonna take a few hours and it's practically nothing. <laughs> and you believed me. Yeah, I was an idiot. There you go. Poor girl. How old was she? 20? 25? Yeah, something like that. What are we gonna do about her? Nothing. We can call the police. Anonymously, of course. Poor thing. Okay, so there's not much to do here. Let's double we can't check. take it with us, but remember what you've seen. Yes, sir, boss bird, sir. What are you trying to tell me, Natasha? Mm -hmm. so nice. Yeah, it really is. What was the new item? SN. Could be the initials of a person, a, a place, a company, or a club. Too many possibilities. But we must find out where it's from. Come to daddy, darling. What else? I don't really understand why she was killed. I mean, of course I need more clues, but um, part of it feels like like a pointless death, like that uh, they just want to, the creators just wanted uh, someone to die, so it really feels like a detective stuff. PD, how can I help you? Uh, I found a corpse. A woman. She's dead. Cold. The address is Rochester Street 37, Flowerville. Sir, please, would you repeat that? Rochester Street 37. Write it down and hurry up for the sake of the wild ones. Hurry! Hurry! It's like so a pro. Yep, yeah. like I've done it before. Oh, yeah! I almost forgot. How can you forget a case like that? How many times have you seen a three-headed monkey in your life? I have a memory of a chicken, you know. That's for sure. Now let's get the hell out of here. cup of coffee a la Zip, huh? We're not here for the coffee, Marty. Zip always knows more than what he lets on. It'd be worth interrogating the old trash panda. If he forgave us for wrecking his joint last time. He'll never forgive us, Marty, but we helped him out of trouble so many times he's not gonna have any choice. I hope you're right, old bird. question is that... If it's still the same thing. Ah, jeez, boys. Out of 2,000 joints in the city, you had to end up here, huh? Hello to you, too, Zip. How's it hanging? I had no problems. Until now. Ah, oh, don't be such a drama queen. We just want to ask you a couple of questions. Then we're out of here. And we won't even trash your place this time. <laughs> what do you say? 
I say let's get it over with very, very quickly, chickens. <laughs> Relax, pal. We'll be as fast as a hummingbird. I'm not your pal. And you're as far from a hummingbird as I'm from a polar bear. Oh, come on, Zip. Don't be so hard on yourself. This dude wasn't here last time, so the scene did change. You didn't get any younger, pal. Uh, well, you're telling me? To be honest, uh, <laughs> and what? Of course. A cup. You know what? Look what we found, Zip. Furry hell! Who'd you beat to death for that? Beat to death? Who do you think we are? We simply confiscated it. You sneaky broilers! I'll give you fifty bucks for it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's worth three times that. Oh, come on, give me a break. Tough luck, Trash Panda. <laughs> we also ran into Filmar. Filmar? Who's that? A grumpy old raggedy ass hawk. His manners are even worse than mine. Ring a bell? You mean Marlow? Was Marlow. Now he goes by Filmar Low. Oh, I see. So that means he's still alive? Yeah, I'm almost not surprised. The old guy has a reputation of being indestructible, huh? He is. And he gave us something that could mean something. Look at this, Zip. Holy crap, what's this? The guest list at a king's birthday party? Hey, that's not even a bad guess. What do you make of it? This piece of paper's from so high up where I've never been myself, boys. So don't ask me. <laughs> we spoke to Natasha. She's scared. Well, it's not good life insurance to be the girl of the most powerful gangster in the city. It's not about that. Someone's been writing offensive messages to her. She feels threatened. I only know that every second husband in the city wants to have her, and every second wife wants to wring her neck because of that. Nothing else. Thanks, Zip. But we're not any further ahead. But not further back, right? <laughs> Good point. So? Out with it. Stop winding me up. I'm almost consumed by all this excitement. We've just come from the Czar Club, Zip. Who do you think we met? Eh... Uh... If I can guess one, I'd say, uh, was it His Majesty Hobart Ibn Wessler, the Rat Prime himself? That on, pal. What a surprise. So, what do you want to know? Just because I don't know anything. Of course you don't. Just a couple questions. Go on, boys. Hurry up, will you? questions done. What? That's exactly what I asked him when he wound up here. But yeah, he's a regular nowadays. He must be sniffing some kind of story about the hive. What's up, Zip? Quiet night, I see. And what's Timothy doing here? That's exactly what I asked him when he wound up here. But yeah, he's a regular nowadays. He must be sniffing some kind of story about the hive. Oh, about the, the riots? Probably. Have they reached here already? I ain't seen nothing. More cops around, yeah, as you can see for yourself. We're not on duty, Zip. It's still the same. A cop's a cop. A lot come by, but besides beating up bugs, nothing much happens. It will, <laughs> Zip. I can sniff it in the air. If you say so, Sonny, your sense of smell is better than mine. <laughs> Maybe once. Huh? What more do you want? Is it forbidden to stand around at your place? Go stand around... Okay, let's ask this guy. Hello, Timothy. Scribblers don't celebrate New Year's. Hello, boys. <laughs> what a pleasure to see you. Answering your question, no, not really. Not me, anyway. I'm always where the story is. Mm-hmm. And where's the story now? I can't see it anywhere. It just stepped through the door, pal. Oh, you mean us? Well, I think I'll have to disappoint you. The chicken police are back together? I, I can't let that go without an ink stain, am I right? No, Timmy, <laughs> you can. We're not working, we're just having a little fun, that's all. Mm, I'm not buying that, boys. You'll have to, Tim. Eh, we'll see about that. 
damn it, what's the scribbler doing here? Sniffing some juicy story. I think I still owe him a great big left hook. What did he do this time? Oh, nothing. Just since I first met him, I wanted to punch him in the face. I can understand that. Is that rag you work for still around, Tim? You mean the most read and highest ranking newspaper of the city, the Clawville Chronicle? Oh yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> I see that you still have your famous sense of humor, Sonny. Such a joy. <laughs> yeah, I do. So, how about you tell me what you're really doing here? Not a chance, Timbo. The truth is, we're already leaving. Sorry, pal. Maybe next time. So, how about you tell me what you're really doing here? Not a chance. So I think this was all that I could do here. Do you remember that time when Zip made you wash dishes all night? Do I remember? I'll never forget it. My feathers smelled of soap for a week. At least you've learned your lesson. Never leave home without your wallet. Because your partner won't help you out. But hey, <laughs> wasn't it you who went out to buy a pack of smokes without your wallet tonight? Well, that's, uh, that's different. Yeah, you're right. the seagull team okay we don't have uh, much more people to discover like six eight people so let's see what can we do now the weekend house this is a must go to place we can go to the police station let's go to the police station because this is a temporary Mission. I don't know, Sonny. What exactly are we doing here? Let's hope we can learn something about Natasha and Ibn by sniffing around before we visit that weekend house in Flowerville. Oh. Learn something? From Phyllis and Roy's? Well, I wasn't exactly thinking about them. Yeah, figures. I probably made a mistake here. Maybe I should have been here first. Before the weekend house, but no, 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 no. Before the weekend house, there was no option to come here, or at least I don't remember. Anyway, guess who we met today in person, Mom? King Hector the Third. Even better, the one who commands the king. Wait a minute, Hobart Wessler? Damn right. Hobart Ibn Wessler in the flesh. Wow. And you're still alive. That's quite an accomplishment. But seriously, have you heard that he wants to get out of the black market business? Allegedly, he's trying to clear his name with some kind of new meat substitute. His name's gonna be rather difficult to clear. <laughs> it's a heroic and impossible venture. I haven't heard about it, but it's an interesting addition to what I know. Which is? Evan's been acting very strange lately, and he left most of his business dealings to one of his goons, Mickey. Also known as the Butcher, the Mongrel, and the Slayer. Yeah, we once had the pleasure of meeting him. That's all I know, boys. I know it's not very much, but it's something, I guess. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks, Mon. Listen, Mon, a reliable old friend shoved this into my hand. Could you take a quick glance at it? Hmm. Quite an imposing list. What could those numbers mean? It could be a date, even, but... No, this is something else. That's what we were thinking, too, and we got nowhere. But you see a lot of documents. So, is there anything familiar about this? Unfortunately not, boys. The names are imposing indeed, but based on this, it could be almost anything. The richest of the rich get together on all kinds of excuses. Huh, it must be a secret cult. It could be, of course, but also anything else. I'm sorry I couldn't help you more. Ah, okay. don't mention it, Mon. Thanks for your time. Or, wait a minute. There is something. Oh, stop teasing us, Mon. I'm sure you've noticed that all the names in the list are men, right? 
Yeah, of course we noticed. Uh, thanks for the observation, Monica. Don't mention it. I'm just a receptionist. Best detectives. We saw a pretty good show at the Czar Club tonight. Good for you, I guess. Natasha? Natasha. She performed her new song. She also sang about why she called us there. Or rather, me. And? That's confidential, Dollface. Anyway, I can't help wondering about that woman. Her past is a mystery, and I couldn't draw much out of her in person, either. Women like her always have something to hide, Sonny. I think that's exactly what makes men fall head over heels for them. <laughs> I know another broad who's all mysterious. Oh, yeah? What's her name? I'll look her up if we have a file on her. Marty, shut up. Oh, you mean me, right? All so mysterious, cool. full of secrets, and grace. I didn't even hear that, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a file on a woman called Olivia Blackwig? She's currently working as Ibn Wessler's assistant. Hmm. We don't have a file on her, but there are a few Blackwigs that could be related to her. Mountain Goat, Crow, or Cayman? Crow, around 30 to 35. A very pretty socialite. Maybe we have a catch, then. Theodore Blackwig was a rather influential banker until he went bankrupt. He died a few years back, but his daughter could have ended up in the same social circles as Eben. And since they lost their money, she took a job as his assistant. Yeah, it would fit the picture. But it's a big city, Sonny. There are maybe more than one Crow family with a Blackwig name living here. Hmm. Thanks, Mon. I'm glad I could help, boys, as always. If it doesn't take a lot of my time, that is. We know, we know. We're not even here anymore. So soon? That was fast. Almost a record. Sorry, Mon. We're just here for a little, uh, info. When are you not here for that, boys? How about wish me a happy birthday for a change? You, what? Is it your birthday today? Of course not. Don't be silly, Marty. You know exactly when it is. We've talked about it a dozen times. Yeah, <laughs> of course I know. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, um... Could you help us with this and that? Of course, boys, but be quick about it. I'm in over my head with paperwork and blood boils breathing down my neck. We'll be quick like a hurricane. Okay, nothing else left to do. Let's go standing right here, so... I guess... Hey, big guy. Hey, Cox, what's up? Back here so soon? Did you get nostalgic all of a sudden, Sonny? I'd rather be anywhere else than here, Bosco. But we're sniffing around on a case. Hoo-hoo! Are you trespassing again? Who? Us? What are you thinking? Ah, uh, just an old case. Still open. Not official, but not active, either. We're not bothering anyone. You know, old habits die hard. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. So, how can I help you? Do you still remember, Philmar? Do you mean Philip? Of course I remember. He's got quite the reputation with that Philmar alias. We just met him. Small world, huh? Do you know what he's up to these days? Yeah, as far as I know, he's investigating petty blackmail cases. And sneaking after poor bastards cheating on their wives. Anything else? Did he get mixed up in something that stirred up a storm recently? Yeah, I don't know about that. We haven't seen him at the PD for a while. He's usually a frequent visitor. Why? Did he run into some fishy business again? Possible, Bosco. But I'm not sure he'd want to make the same mistake. Wise decision. Listen, Bosco, what do you make of this list? Maybe it's the guest list of some fancy ball. These are some rather influential names, the ones I recognize anyway. Movie stars, politicians, a few names from the Council of Twelve even, if I'm not mistaken. You're not. Are you blackmailing them? Because if you are, I'll gladly accept a nice big juicy bone in exchange for my silence. Stop screwing around, Bosco. It has nothing to do with our case. 
Which is what, exactly? Yeah, mm, we're exactly. still not gonna tell you. Listen, Bosco, what have you heard about that singer, Natasha Katsenko? <laughs> you mean that little bimbo fooling around with Ibn Wessler? They say she's the jackpot. <laughs> But I've never been into cats, you know. <laughs> you couldn't be more racist if you tried, Bosco. Yeah. <laughs> don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with cats at all. I'm simply allergic to them. I can't stand being around them. I don't even take cases with cats. Good for you. I should have used that excuse myself. Why? Is your investigation related to her? What? No, of course <laughs> not. We, we just came from her show. That's why I asked. <laughs> and what's she like? Well, I guess your cat allergy would go away for the rest of your life if you met her. <laughs> really? Eh, maybe I'll have a go and see for myself one day. Miss Jardine. What? Officer Bark. Uh-uh. Blood boils in there, and I don't want to run into him. I wholeheartedly agree, partner. Let's avoid the whole office section as much as possible. Okay. Let's check if somebody's at the shooting range. No. Okay. To get some information. I think it was the progress. Let's load the twelve. To understand this, we are back here. I thought that we come back here because the cops are here and we can meet the cat lady, but. Uh, I hate to look at that. Poor oh, thing. There's nothing else. Okay, and then I don't really get it. We can't do anything else here. Okay, I feel like I am getting stuck. Wrote that down? It burned into my mind. Yeah, we've talked about that. Stop staring at we talked about that too. Maybe there's some something I haven't. I will check the trip. Does this fireplace seem oh. as suspicious to you as it seems to me, Marty? Hmm. It looks like it's never been used. And the place has radiators in every room, meaning there's central heating. Then why the fireplace? For decoration? It's not like Natasha, and Ibn doesn't have enough money for that. But you're right. I don't think it's just for show. This conversation was not here last time. I remember that 100%. Yeah. Because I was here and I was looking at what's with the fireplace and there was no... Does this fireplace about. seem as suspicious to you as it seems to me, Marty? Hmm. It looks like it's never been used. And the place has radiators in it. Then why the... F it's not like... Yeah, but what to do now? What are you trying to tell?
controls are really annoying. Nice, yeah. I have something I could use. No, not really. So what's with the fireplace? Does this fireplace seem hmm. and the plan it? Same conversation. But I can't seem to do anything else. Okay, I might be stuck in this game for some reason. You wrote that down? I am pretty sure that I have to do something here, but something is it's like broken, not right, or I am doing something wrong. Dusted you off, Molly. S N. Ironic. You wrote that down. Definitely stuck for some reason. Controls. Map. Uh, there is something Team. And I don't have any more clues. Oh, this wasn't available last time either, so it might be a bug. Damn, just you have a point. Oh, let's get back. No. Oh, you can't be serious. <laughs> Is this some kind of... Oh, yeah, it's life. a riddle, Marty. But it doesn't make any sense. Why use something as simple as this when a four-digit number is almost impossible? An idle whim or the riddle has a meaning. Maybe. What, what riddle? Four animals into four places. What does it represent? Think, Marty. Where did we see four animals holding something in their hands? Seven, 
seven. That's like a lot of possibilities. Before I know something holding in their hands. Yeah, problem is that uh, I accidentally jumped through the conversation that was here, so... Uh, maybe I have something in the rooms. Four animals. can go many places, I can go to the PD and the home dog bar, so uh, the wide one. Ah. What kind of animals do I have? Stork, sheep, tiger, fox, lion, hawk. Yeah, I mean, I can do pretty much two things. First, I could Google the solution. Try to figure it out now. I want to figure it out actually. So four animals holding something. I don't even know. Uh, do we have... S uh, four animals, yeah, but... Molly. Uh, even if I say that these four animals... I don't have a rhino. Pretty sure I don't have a cheetah. I don't even know what's that. <sighs> uh, 
my biggest problem is at the moment that I bet that the clue is something that I should have seen. Uh, I should know. It's probably so easy. Star Club or the hotel because I think that uh, one of those holds the key to this yeah the gods are free gods so that's not four Okay, let's try to figure out what animals have we encountered so far. There was a stork lady, sheep, uh, I don't remember, tiger, no. fox, I have seen a fox. Lion, yeah, there was a depiction. to open the safe guide. <laughs> Four. Get bribed. Get beaten by a hooker. Nice words. Nice bullshit. Wiggle on it. Hello there. What could this be? Maybe a piece of a painting. And there's some kind of squiggle on it. The signature of the painter? Yeah, I can't make it out.
It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure this is what Natasha wanted to show us. That's why. So a piece of a painting? That's it? And what's that smear on it? It's too illegible to be a signature. It could be anything. Well, maybe Natasha can help us. After all, this is what she wanted to show us, isn't it? Well, that's if we find her. She should be here by now. True. Well, then what's next? How about we peck around town some more? We could do that, but... I think we should gather what we know and try to figure out where we can go from here. A uh, bourbon in my office? Ah, uh, you know what? After all this, I could use a drink. <laughs> right answer. Priorities. You also have a new location. So, I'm guessing... stand so far so let's check that out oh. should we say hi to the old beaver sure Mullen is an old, old friend, so he certainly deserves a hello, and we do need information. Few people know as much about Clawville as the old woodchomper. An encyclopedia in the flesh. Yeah, he always has something. Mullen's car. Ancient, but kind of beautiful. Like the old beaver himself. Some things are indestructible, right? Yeah. Mullen's kiosk's been here since I was a little chick. My old man used to drive here from the other side of town for his daily papers. Yeah, many still do. He certainly is something. Mullen's a wizard from a forgotten age. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Chandler's used to be quite a prestigious cafe. Magnificent animals had breakfast here. And in the evenings, philosophers and writers would get drunk together and argue. The place is now just a second-hand bookshop. Just a shadow of its former self. Like so many things in this city. Like me. No. The Clawville Chronicle. The most read and probably the most biased newspaper in the city. It's supposed to be a royalist rag. But the separatist overtones are getting stronger and stronger every day. Royalist separatists. This is getting interesting. Hey, Hercule. What's up, old friend? Hello, me lads. It's good to see you. What are you doing around here where you never see a cat, go boy? <laughs> we're working, Uncle Mullen, just like you. But I'm afraid we're also walking a little bit outside the law. <laughs> but it's New Year's Eve. Couldn't it wait a bit? Whatever the case is, it can't be that serious. I'm afraid it is. Maybe you can help us with a few things. After all, you know everyone in the city. <laughs> what a compliment. But of course I'll help if I can. I know you ever since you appeared in the city. Young, fresh, full of ambition. And little Marty had been just a chick when he was already coming here every day with his daddy, eh? <laughs> You're like me sons, so you are. Oh, thanks, Uncle Mullen. Eben's a ruthless gangster, that's for sure, but he's not bloodthirsty or stupid. You're not in danger until you're in his way, and that's not so easy to manage as the whole city's in his hands. How come they never tried to approach you, Uncle? What? <laughs> of course they tried. They wanted to buy the whole area and build some huge parking garage on it. Mongrel Mick, Ibn's number one thug, came here and threatened me more than once. If I hadn't dug me heels in, the others would have sold up. 
the lawyers behind me, even Biff, the owner of Chandler's. But I told them, over my cold dead carcass. <laughs> well, looks like it worked. <laughs> I'm too much for them, lads. Or I'm just too famous around here to get rid of. We could say Ibn's almost almighty, but he avoids scandal like rats avoid fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I'm a poor nobody, my lads, but my name still carries meaning. This place has always belonged to my family. If my dead body had been found here or in the times, it would have caused a scandal, even without any evidence. So, he usually listens to reason. Yeah, when I talked to him tonight, he seemed confused, dissolute, and impetuous to me. That's uncharacteristic. Are you sure it was him? Are you joking? Ibn Wessler's not usually confused with anyone else. Of course I'm joking. Beaver humor, you know? <laughs> Nobody gets it. Not even the beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Good one again. Well, why not? Hey, Martin, my lad, what's up? How's that beautiful wife of yours? Laura's perfectly fine, thank you. It's crazy you could grab an amazing woman like her, son. Are you blackmailing her with something? Nah, I missed your famous beaver humor. I'm just messing with you, son. Anyway, you look good. You're in good shape. You look more like a turkey than a rooster, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> thanks. This is priceless. Thanks, Hercule. We'll be back again soon. Yeah, sure will. Monica, Monica, the colibri. Nice girl. She used to come here for a while, but I, I think she moved downtown. Yeah, she's the poster girl for workaholism. She lives in an apartment across from the PD, but sleeps at the station, if she sleeps at all. Some animals just race and race through the years of their life until someone stops them and makes them wind down. Is there someone like that waiting for everyone? Indeed there is, somewhere. <laughs> Usually not where we're looking for them. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. How's Desiree? What about her? She's still beautiful, and she's still my wife. And I still don't get why she hasn't met me already. <laughs> because she's too much like you, you stubborn old damn builder. You see, you're right about that, sonny boy. And, uh, the cubs? Cubs? <laughs> More like jumbo cubs. John sees a hotshot lawyer in Galadia, and Timmy also left Clarville to try his luck in Grassmore. But who could blame them? Good move. Timmy. Ah, yeah, but they visit Wait, me the after, seagull is They're Timmy. good kids. I know, pal. They're from a good letter. Are they the same? <laughs> if you say so, Sonny. Are they the same people, or was it just a mistake that two different characters get the same name? Anyway. You know anything about a woman named Natasha Katsenko? Sonny boy, what have you gotten yourself into again? That lass is Ibn Wessler's protege, to put it politely. She's the crown jewel of the city. A shining new star. If you dare talk to a gal such as her, you can expect some serious lead poisoning, me boy. Well, I suppose I should have come to you first for advice. Doesn't matter now. We're in it, Uncle. Off to our combs. If you'll accept the advice of an old shaggy beaver, get to the end of it as quickly as you can, and try to make it out with all your feathers. Yeah, that's the plan. But do you know anything about her? Anything, uh, interesting? As I've heard, Natasha is quite a mysterious lass. She came from the Stavonian Sardom and fled to Clawville, but from what? No one knows. Some years of her life are shrouded in mystery, and that really means good. You're right about that. So, uh, that's your advice? Be careful? At least, sorry boy. And one more thing. What's that? Never fall in love with a woman like her. Thanks, Hercule. I wasn't planning to. Nobody plans to, Sonny. Just take care of each other, okay? And always carry a good gun in your pocket. Oh, I always have one in every pocket, old-timer. I know, Martin. I know. What's up, old man? Is everything all right? Uh, me bones are creaking, me eyesight's getting more and more blurry, and sometimes I hear sounds that aren't even there. 
I think I'm getting old. Well, maybe I've gone crazy already, but the old ticker's still ticking. So, here I am. Ah, it's good to still have an old familiar spot in the city. Ah, nothing lasts forever, boys. So, what is this dirt you've ended up in again, eh? Ah, uh, just a simple case, strumming personal strings. That's why I couldn't refuse it. You know the tune. Well, well, ah, yeah, yeah. Same old song, eh? Yeah, it's a classic. Check on it if I can get some new information. But uh, I have to do that in the next episode as we are uh, over our one hour limit. So, thank you for watching this video. If, the, if you liked it, then please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Goodbye.